I kind of hate myself for thinking that this may actually work. I mean, I'm dramatically over budget, but the theory might actually hold true in that I've broken it into three smaller jumps. You should need a whole lot momentum to do that than to do one big jump. This is pretty much the same jump over and over again, and I'm sure he can make the first one. Question is, will he hit the bridge in the wrong place and make the hold? Oh, come on! <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Polybridge 2. That game that makes you think you're testing the limits of human ingenuity, when in all reality, you're testing the limits of human patience. Like, I've never felt like I knew what I was doing while playing this game, but I have always felt like hurling myself into the sun every time I'm done with it. So to start things off, of course, we have another drawbridge every freaking time. Except for this time around, it looks like traffic really wants to get across the river while there's some kind of steamboat race happening. Like, I can't imagine that's all that interesting to watch, is probably why they want to get home right away. Except they have an objective between the two, and I'm kinda hoping that I'll just be able to do... Yeah. That should count, right? Like, the star is a lot like Coitus, the tip still counts. I think that's gonna be a whole lot better than actually angling the part of the bridge that we're moving. We can just angle this part, that shouldn't be all that difficult at all. Like, I have a hard enough time remembering the spelling difference between angle and angel. Nonetheless, moving a bridge set at a certain angle. I almost just said angel, I swear to god. <laughs> this game is already getting to me. Funny enough, building the bridge isn't the problem, right? It's figuring out how to move it and then where to do that so that it doesn't rip itself apart. <laughs> because my bridges love doing that. But I'm thinking we probably want to split here, which means we don't want this piece. And then our pivot points can be here and here, where we've got the most support on the ends. They're like, I want to move as little bridge as possible. The less weight we've got thrown around, the better. And I'm thinking that is probably the minimum to avoid the steamboat drag race. I still have no idea what's going on there. I mean, I'm somewhat confident in this, but at the same time, like, every time I add hydraulics to a bridge, it's like adding a kite to a tornado. There's just nothing left. Ugh. Just a minor setback, not that big a deal. We're not gonna get discouraged or rage quit quite yet, unless we're 2% over budget. Okay, you know what? Maybe this part doesn't necessarily need to be metal. Should the middle be metal? That seems like it's the most important part. No, no, I think it's fine, right? It wasn't necessarily the weight of the car, it was the fact that it was kind of getting moved. Maybe? Nothing's in the red to start off, that's usually a good sign. <laughs> Come on now, just pull. Okay, that's good. Now, it shouldn't rip itself apart, he says before the bridge commits the ultimate seppuku. Come on, not too far, not too far. That's, that's good, that's good enough. Great, okay. Yeah, they're going like 20 miles per hour. It's like the speed of smell, not that entertaining. <gasps> Back down again. And then I think the next car is even lighter. So we should be in the clear. The hard part should be over. You're gonna go a little bit faster, which is concerning because there's a ramp, there's a ramp, there's a ramp. Oh, okay. <laughs> You only got a little bit of air there. Whew, over 90% stress, I swear. Like, if there was a name for this series, that would be it. Should I even ask why the Monopoly Man is tailgating Wesley Snipes? Does it even matter? To be perfectly honest, Moneybags, you've gone too far this time, okay? I'm not gonna help you with stalking. I don't care how much income tax he owes you. Wesley Snipes doesn't pay taxes. So, we are gonna do a little something like this. I've got a bit of an ingenious idea. Wesley's not gonna like it all that much because it involves building a bridge on top of his car, but I'm thinking this might be the only way to pull it off. Like, if we shore this up, then once he drives off, then the ramp should fall down behind him and then money bags will go up to his flag and then they'll just be separated for about five minutes. I'm sure you'll be able to get away. The guy's car runs on steam. Once again, moments before giving my creation life, I find myself asking, what's gonna go wrong? Because clearly something is gonna go wrong. It always does. You just try to predict it beforehand so that you don't need to simulate their deaths as many times. It gets to a person, okay? It weighs on your soul. I think this should be good. 
there's really only two points of failure. One would be that the car can't go. Okay, good. So we've got the ramp down. Now, as long as you don't go for a swim, that would be the other point of failure. Okay, that's something that we can actually fix. Especially considering I've only used like half my budget. <laughs> okay, well they gave me a point up here, so maybe I need to suspend it? I think this was the point that was getting really stressed out. I could put even more in, but I love saving money. <laughs> I'm sure both of you guys understand. <laughs> Come on now, good. This is looking promising, okay. Ooh, there was a third point of failure. If you can't get up the ramps, then we've got a problem. I know I made fun of your rickety little car, but that final incline doesn't look too bad. You're hitting it with speed, and there you go. That's a really clever little bridge, and I did it with very little stress. I gotta say, I feel good, it's not a coincidence. And just like that, we're back to the bane of my existence, drawbridges. And you're really gonna have me build a triple-decker drawbridge. How is this possibly gonna go well? I would imagine this is a lot like a triple-stuffed Oreo, except instead of the cream, you get dog shit. <laughs> like, I'm sure I've done something like this before. I have no doubt that Polybridge 1 had a triple drawbridge, but like, I can't even remember what I did last episode, nonetheless a series like four years ago. Once again, I don't know about you guys, but I really do not want to move this entire bridge. Actually, no, I would love to move the entire bridge. I don't think it's possible. Pretty sure we're just gonna have to move the little bit in the middle that's screwing with the boat, so. I may have over-engineered this a little bit, but I've got a plan. We're gonna disconnect here, and then our pivot points are gonna be along this tower, which I could shore up even more. That, even though I'm getting real close to the end of my budget, and we haven't even gotten the hydraulics in yet. Okay, well, here comes the problem, because we wanna push there, we're gonna push there, and there? Ooh, we are pushing, okay. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. <laughs> like, you never know if it's gonna be just right, too much, or too little, until you have a couple people go for a swim. Let's find out, maybe it'll be all three? Are you kidding me right now? It's, it's literally all three. <laughs> too much, too little, and just right. Well, fortunately, we managed to save the children. I'm gonna let this run just to make sure that the bridge that I have... All right, well, minor adjustments. I'm gonna worry about the bridge tearing itself apart first and then falling apart second, because there's a good chance if these middle pieces survive, maybe it won't fall apart. I just need to dial these stupid hydraulics in. I'm thinking we probably want to lower this down by about 10-ish percent. How about we go 11 percent? Yeah, I'm feeling a lot luckier on 11. <laughs> Something like that. Because as we all know, luck is the major consideration. I could measure this stuff out. I could get colleagues to look at it. I could use math, but screw all that. <laughs> you just eyeball it. <laughs> okay, now you become a solid bridge. Transform and roll out into a solid bridge. Do not make me start over again. It wasn't even kind of a solid bridge. Once again, this is really feeling like one of those scenarios where I need to actually remove some support from the problem area because I keep adding support and it's not helping. Why? I don't know, okay, don't ask. Just know that this is how you problem solve. You don't need to be an expert at everything. You just need to know a little bit about a lot of things. And then before you know it, you are dodging steamboats like a pro. There are pro steamboat dodgers, right? I'm not just talking. I I'm mumbling out my ass this entire game. Who are you kidding? Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. They're, they're on the other side. That's gotta be good. There's no way you can break now. Yes! 99.3% stress from removing supports! Like, this game is excruciating! 
All right, Polybridge 2, the hydraulics are gone, so what's the catch this time? You've given me 11 pieces of roads, and let me guess, that is gonna get me, like, less than the way there. So do you just want a ramp? I don't know if I can build a ramp with only two points. I mean, I definitely cut some corners here. These triangles are a little bit bigger than I'd like, but at the same time, every time you build a ramp in this game, it's just guessing. Like, you have no idea how fast the vehicle is gonna go, how much air it's gonna get, and you guys have been yelling at me in the comments telling me that I can see if I hover over the vehicle, it's gonna go four meters per second. But that might as well be telling me four mailboxes per spaghetti. Like, it doesn't mean anything. That could be close to the speed of light, it could be junior league slow pitch, I have no idea. You just gotta try. It's looking a lot closer to slow pitch, actually. You are not gonna come anywhere close. So the bridge held up, that's his fault. He hesitated. How am I gonna make this any longer? They only gave me so much road. I kind of hate myself for thinking that this may actually work. I mean, I'm dramatically over budget, but the theory might actually hold true in that I've broken it into three smaller jumps. You should need a whole lot momentum to do that than to do one big jump. This is pretty much the same jump over and over again, and I'm sure he can make the first one. Question is, will he hit the bridge in the wrong place and make the hold? Oh, come on! <laughs> Okay, it doesn't actually matter because I gotta get it under budget, but the idea is there, okay? We're getting somewhere, being the bottom of the river. I might actually pull it off. Okay, that took a lot of tweaking, but we are now $5 under budget. We got a crisp $5 bill in our pocket if we can walk away without getting wet. I don't have a lot of faith in that happening, but maybe, Hollybridge 2 could get off my nuts for just a second. Oh my god, it's always so close. Please, please, just a little bit faster. I, I, I might be able to get this to work. I just need to shift things just, just, a, just a little bit. I've now optimized the first two jumps, so we should be getting the maximum amount of distance out of this much road. It took me 45 minutes. Kill me. But he has to be able to make this jump, like I could make this jump on foot, and I'm a gamer, I never stand up. This just has to work. There's no two ways about it. it, it absolutely has to work. Please, please work. Please do not just fall through, okay, good, and then just on the tip, and then... Thank you. Oh my god, I I legitimately thought for a bit there, I'm not gonna be able to pass this level, I'm not gonna wanna finish this episode, I'm just gonna quit. Holy crap, we're just building a bridge. There are no hydraulics, there are no slinkies. It's just a heavy vehicle that needs to get to the other side of the river. So I would imagine I just need to do my best to make this entire bridge out of wood. Okay, yeah, I'm picking up what you're putting down now, Polybridge 2, so this is actually going to be somewhat tricky. Yeah, somewhat tricky. Well, as usual, we'll start with our downward-facing triangles. Downward is important, because then we can actually tie into our support system a whole lot easier. I don't think I want to use these to buttress up against the riverbed, because, you know, it's wood. I don't think it'd make any difference. <laughs> and we're gonna need some kind of support structure here. Maybe we could do something like this, make it more of a boxy shape. N no? Uh, okay. I don't think I can even reach doing something like this, but even that's 1% over budget, and that looks like it's gonna break apart in about two seconds. There is no way this is gonna work. There's no way one little twig is gonna be able to support this entire bridge. It's clearly ingenious. I had complete and total faith in my creation the entire time. Shut up. Oh, 
Boy, oh boy, we've got another ramp, except for this one's gonna be significantly more difficult. You didn't think it could get more difficult, did you? Well, I'm willing to bet you didn't expect us to have to squeak through a tiny gap between a hot air balloon and a mountain, and then on the other side, land and get like, scooped up and underneath to get to the flag. So we've got a whole lot to plan here. How fast are you going? 15 monkeys per sparkle? Oh yeah, that helps. I'm always really concerned when they give me an anchor point that I don't end up using. Like, clearly this is here for a reason. I don't know what that reason is because my plan doesn't include it. I mean, only $200 under budget. I don't, I don't really think it matters all that much. It's just gonna come down to whether or not I guess the speed right. Again, because we, we could almost make it. <laughs> so just a little fine tweak and we'll be good, maybe. How about we aim this up? just a little bit. That should make a difference, right? I don't know if you're gonna be able to land over here. Ho oh, oh, ho, nice. Oh, oh, that was almost amazing. If I could use my last couple hundred bucks to secure that, then we're in the clear. That roll was awesome. I'm not touching that left side. Maybe trying to soften his landing is a mistake. What if we put metal here instead? I mean, it's already breaking, so I don't think it can break more. Get the feeling that he might just kind of bash his way through. Ho, ho, ho. I mean, that's pretty wicked, but I want to get it unbreaking. How am I going to make that not break? He's hitting it like a meteor. I'm doing that thing that I really don't want to do and that I'm going to change the left side just enough so that we can get reinforced road on the right. I mean, I didn't change the angle of the road. So in all reality, it shouldn't make a difference. So long as it doesn't break, it should be the exact same. <laughs> that didn't break. That technically, it didn't break. It's not good for a second try, okay? It's a disposable ramp, but I'm fine with that. Screw nature. And on a side note, shout out to Nate. Really sorry to hear about your nips, bud. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Polybridge 2, guys. And I'm gonna be completely honest, I am dumbfounded that I haven't quit this series yet. Because the videos keep doing well, but there's usually a point in these games where I just can't get any further. It's too difficult. It's getting real close. I've been recording for two and a half hours. I'm guessing this video is gonna be like 20-ish minutes and I've got a massive migraine, but at the same time, it worked. We got there, we finished half a dozen levels, and there's gonna be another video. So long as you guys show your support. As always, be sure to like this video, let me know, and I'll return to more, do more, uh, uh, my, my brain is mush, I'm done. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.